Hi everyone, Johnny here from WP Johnny doing a quick review on RunCloud service. So um, who is RunCloud? What do they do? What are they all about? So I really like this company when I first heard about it, uh, maybe two years ago or so. They are a cloud-based control panel so that you can manage VPS servers through like a convenient graphical user interface. That way you're not like mucking through the command line, right? Uh, for those who don't, of you who don't know what a command line looks like, it looks like this, right? And then you make commands by, by um, you know, typing in Linux scripts, uh, Linux commands and whatnot. So that can be a little um, overwhelming for, for people who, you know, aren't Linux admins. So uh, let's take a look at a few things I like about them. I like their brand. I like their vibe. It's very cute. It's, um, it's very polished. You can tell this is a company that's been a while, around for a while. Um, and they know what they're doing. They know their server stuff. Uh, they have a very friendly vibe, very supportive, um, and also very competitive. So let's look at their prices here. They have a free plan. Uh, the basic issue with this plan, I'll show you here. Let's just open up this feature thing. Here's the uh, basic issue with this plan. It doesn't have the uh, SSL certificates with let's encrypt right so I mean you can you can install it through the command line but that's no fun so th there's no like simple interface for you to to activate those and that alone just kinda throws that plan out the window it defeats the point of it um, and it's fine they cripple it like that just so you can check out their service now this one right here their basic plan here it's only six dollars and sixty seven cents that's US dollars for for one server and that's great uh, for most people this is all you need and this is a huge bargain. If you pay the $12.50, you get to have unlimited servers. Um, and then this, you know, the business thing, uh, you know, where the big thing here is, is that if you pay $37.50, $37.50 a month, you get to have unlimited teams and members. So that means you can have multiple people managing your servers, jump into the account. I'm pretty sure there, there might be granular access. You can decide which admins have access to which servers and which sites and whatnot okay so moving on uh, let's sign in so normally I click sign in right here but now uh, I'm already in so here I've got one server deployed um, but let's just click around here let's see what's happening so very easy uh, okay teams uh, backup you can activate you know your server backups and whatnot this is great um, other stuff uh, I have to upgrade my plan right now I'm on the basic uh, basic basic plan I'm on the basic plan okay so you can create a new server and uh, it's pretty easy it's very very easy it's easier than what I remembered uh, you know a couple years ago so you know you choose a server that you like uh, which VPS provider you like you enter the server name the IP and then they like give you some basic instructions for you to um, to install that that server okay well I'm not gonna do that right now I've already done that and let's click into the server and okay what's going on get me in there okay here we go this is my favorite part of run cloud their their panel is super polished I mean the icons the font the spacing you can see how much disk usage the uptime the memory usage uh, it, uh, I love it. I love it. This is my favorite part. They probably by far have the best panel. Um, some of you, uh, especially extremely newbie users, may find this panel a little bit overwhelming. I don't personally. Um, so for example, like from probably here on down, almost all this stuff right here, beginner users are not going to need any of this. They don't care about any of that. But let's go through them real quick anyway. So uh, first one, server health. Okay, so we're looking at the CPU load. I have a test website up. I, I'm, I'm not doing anything on it. Um, it's great. So you can see the loads. The charts are really friendly, really convenient. Um, I would have loved to see this on the main screen. As soon as I logged in, I would have loved to see the server load. Um, especially if you're in server admin, that's what you want to see, right? Um, if I go to disk cleanup, okay, emptying all. All right, we're not going to do that right now. Let's go to web application. So here... You can uh, install a new website. Um, you can be a custom app, or you can do a one-click words WordPress app. Uh, you choose your PHP version. Most of you are going to pick the latest, and then um, type in the application name. This is just a name that helps you remember what it is, right? 
So most of the time your application name, uh, let's say your domain name is going to be something.com and then you're going to remind yourself with something.com or WordPress or something, right? WP for WordPress because you might have forums or anyway, whatever. Name it whatever you want. I don't care. Right here we have the web application stack. So it's really simple. If you need .ht access, pick the, the Nginx and Apache 2 hybrid option. If you don't, pick native Nginx. It's going to be faster. Uh, for the custom config, okay, that's for people to know what they're doing. If you have to ask the question, uh, you're, you're probably going to be between either of these two. But for most of the time, uh, this will be a safer bet, uh, the Nginx, and then you'll have to use uh, Nginx uh, custom, I mean, uh, Nginx configurations. If you need HD access, pick this. Your site name, username, admin, blah, blah, blah. Your admin email, and you, you start the site off. Now, uh, let's, let's, uh, we can jump into it, and just so you can see. So when I jump into here, again, more settings, you can see the traffic stats, you can see um, Git, if, you know, if you're developing elsewhere and you need to copy your site over, you can use that, or just ignore it. Uh, script installer, so, you know, if you want to install more scripts, uh, more stuff in here, you can use that. Um, file manager, I love this, very cute, very easy, um, very easy to use. Um, let's, you know, oh, okay, let's pick that. And then let's go edit, right? So very easy to use. Um, domain name. You can add a new domain name. Uh, is this for rewrites? Oh, okay. It's just so you can generate cer certificates, uh, SSL certificates. But then over here, you enable it and you hit update. That's it. Very simple. Uh, HSTS. Uh, you can decide later if you really want that. Um, you don't have to. That's what I say. This is your public path. You don't really have to mess with this, um, some, some security stuff, some Nginx stuff. So again, for uh, you know very beginner folks, uh, you probably will never mess with this, and this may be overwhelming, but just ignore it. You know, Don't look at it. Okay, access log, error logs. Uh, what are this for? This is really useful for server admins. This is like uh, when your site gets hacked, basically. So you go in here and you go, hey, who's hacking me, and, and what are you looking for, right? So you're looking for these like post requests. This is somebody who's like trying to access uh, certain, you know, certain parts of your site. Um, anyway, I'm just gonna ignore that uh, error log. So let's say if uh, your site's not working or something, you can go to the error log very quickly, and and you can look. and There there might be some cues that will tell you what's going on, which uh, which theme, which plugin is causing the problem. Okay, web application log. So this is basically just showing a log of what things you've been doing. So if I make a change on here somewhere, it logs it into here. So in case something breaks, you can go in here and, and, and see what you did that broke the site. All right, we go all the way back out. Database. So from here, uh, I go to database and create new users, whatnot. This is already automatically generated when you created your app. So you shouldn't have had to mess with that. And actually, I wanted to just see... Um, where's the... Where's the PHP Miami. Okay, it, it's on here. I swear, it's on here somewhere. Um, can't find it right now. And uh, how do I? Okay, I can't remember. I did it just the other day. System users, you can create new users that that have access to the server. SSH key, you can add SSH keys for your developers or you know server guys that that want that. Um, PHP CLI. Okay. Um, you can mess with that if you need that. Uh, cron jobs, this is great if you need to make a cron job. Um, supervisor, monitor and control pro okay. I don't mess with that. I don't mess with that. Okay, services. So um, some things that you don't need, you will just disable. So like uh, Redis, if you don't need it, disable it. Uh, does, that let, does that let you uh, do that from here? I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, okay, so you can do it from here. Start, stop, reload. Oh, they gotta put a clear button. This this looks kind of cute. You can't tell that that's the settings button. So, uh, mem, you know, I'm not using memcache and Redis, so yeah, they should be disabled. This should be disabled. Um, but if you are, then just go ahead and start it, and then you can use it. 
services. Uh, if you need to open ports for a certain app or something, you can add it here, right? You can open those ports. These are the band uh, addresses. So this is great. If your site is, uh, if your site, your server is getting hacked, or you know somebody's, um, somebody's flooding your server with all kinds of requests and trying to get in, uh, run cloud security settings will will start banning IP addresses. Um, if you find out that you don't have access to your server for whatever reason, you can go on here, check to see if your IP is listed here, and then go ahead and delete it. So it's unbanned, right? Um, if you don't know what your IP is, it's uh, what's my IP, right? Go to what's my IP.com, and you get your external IP address. Um, okay, you guys are going to see all my information. Okay, uh, settings. It's taking forever. No? Alright. Ooh, I can see the load up here. It's it's a little slow. Alright, this is okay. This is whatever things you've been doing on your server, it logs it. Let's try to get to settings. Okay, I've got to settings. Um if I want to transfer the server, change IP address, blah blah blah. Alright, that's pretty much it. So let's chat. Let's have a quick chat. Um what I like about RunCloud is that they have a really comprehensive uh, GUI. It's great for users, and it's great for developers, and it's great for admins. Um, I think it's especially great for admins and developers. Users, I think regular, typical website users, you guys are not going to appreciate this as much. For you, it's going to be like, oh, too many settings, too many buttons, it looks like an airplane cockpit in here. Um, you just want to get in there and get straight to WordPress. But for somebody like a developer, you know, they want to create a bunch of sites, they want to create a bunch of applications, they want to clone it, create a staging site, jump in and out of databases and whatnot. So they're going to love the features. Um, server guys, uh, I'm sorry, the developers are also, they want to be able to copy, you know, from their sites from development from local onto the server and back and forth. Uh, server guys, they like having, you know, the full SSH access, they like being, being able to see security. Um, cron jobs and the command line and whatnot. Run Cloud gives them access to this. So, uh, you know, uh, is it good? I think I think even if you're a newbie user, it's worth using Run Cloud so you can get the hang of uh, you know server functions, right? So it's just for little basic things. If for whatever reason your server guy is not responding, you can figure some things out for yourself um, with this super easy interface. So uh, back to my favorite things about Run Cloud. What I like about it. Pricing, super cheap. Uh, most other cloud-based control panels, you know, they're going to start at $10 a month, $15 a month, $20, $30 a month just to have one server. With RunCloud, it's just $6 a month. Second thing I like, again, is the comprehensive user interface. It's great for everyone, users, developers, server admins. Now, uh, what are the cons? Um, the cons of their server... I would say is their service, right? They don't really, I mean, they're not going to chat with you and sit on there, hold your hand and all that. You need to kind of know what you're doing. If you're harassing them with, with questions about, oh, how do I do this and that with my server, they're, they're not there to help you with that. Um, they're not there to teach you basic WordPress things. Um, they're not there for that. The other thing that I think, it's a con in a way, but also not so much of a con is that their performance is not the best. It's good performance, don't get me wrong, it's way better than average, way better than like the HostGator, GoDaddy and all that. Is it a VPS level performance? Yes, of course. So it's good performance. Um, it's just not the fastest, and I would say it can't handle high traffic. So if your server gets something like, let's say you're using um, a $10 server, right? So let's go to DigitalOcean and let's, let's look at their pricing. Okay. So if you're using like a $10 a month uh, droplet, actually, I, I, I don't even recommend that. Everyone should just start here. Start here, $20 a month, two virtual CPUs, and four gigs of RAM. So if you're using a $20 a month server, you can handle like, I don't know, 200,000 hits a month, right? With RunCloud, uh, if you're getting more than that, you're getting a million. Uh, RunCloud's caching, their their fast CGI caching is not enabled off the bat. It really annoys me. I went digging through the command line, I ran some commands, and and I just figured, you know what? Even if I do figure it out, most of you won't be able to figure it out. So I would say RunCloud's caching is not there. Uh, their their server side caching is not there, set up by default. 
and for that alone the server will not be able to handle like the super high traffic so if you got a hundred thousand hits a month run cloud is awesome it's great for you um yeah you can use a caching plugin like wp rocket or swift performance whatever one of those are great um anyways that's it i hope you enjoyed the review and uh check them out i mean they're so cheap right give them give them a try thanks for watching